Let's denote the limit whose value is to be found by L. Therefore, L is equal to the limit as n tends to infinity. 2 upon pi times n plus 1 times cos inverse 1 upon n minus n. Now divide the expression in the square brackets by n and multiply outside the brackets by n. This limit can be written as limit n tends to infinity n times in brackets 2 upon pi times 1 plus 1 upon n times cos inverse 1 upon n minus 1. Now let's define a function fx which is equal to 2 upon pi times 1 plus x times cos inverse x minus 1. Therefore, the expression in the square brackets in the above limit is equal to f of 1 upon n. Therefore, the limit L is equal to the limit as n tends to infinity n times f of 1 upon n. But this is given to be equal to f dash 0. Now notice that the value of fx at x is equal to 0 or f0 is equal to 2 upon pi times 1 plus x times cos inverse x minus 1 at x is equal to 0. This is equal to 2 upon pi times 1 plus 0 times cos inverse 0 minus 1. Now cos inverse 0 is equal to pi upon 2. Therefore, f of 0 is equal to 2 upon pi times pi upon 2 minus 1, which is equal to 0, as given in the problem statement. Now the value of the limit L is equal to f dash 0. To determine f dash 0, we first determine f dash x. f dash x is equal to 2 upon pi times cos inverse x times the derivative of 1 plus x, which is 1, plus 2 upon pi times 1 plus x times the derivative of cos inverse x, which is minus 1 upon root of 1 minus x square, minus the derivative of 1, which is equal to 0. Therefore, the value of f dash 0 is equal to 2 upon pi times cos inverse 0 plus 2 upon pi times 1 plus 0 times minus 1 upon root of 1 minus 0. This simplifies to 2 upon pi times cos inverse 0 which is pi upon 2 minus 2 upon pi and therefore the value of f dash 0 is equal to 1 minus 2 upon pi. Therefore, the value of the limit L, which is equal to f dash 0, is equal to 1 minus 2 upon pi, which is the required answer.